solar energy, the what type of questions? L1 questions, state from syllabus. L3 questions are your opinion questions, your analysis questions. Well, these questions are based on what you have read. This is based on what you think. It's a personality thing. Okay, if you ask me, one thing the UPSC is testing is your personality, nothing else. Your, in terms of your commitment for development, your ability to interlink things, your percent in terms of your strategic planning, your critical thinking skills. Because if UPSC was testing your knowledge alone, they would have gone to the best college of India and taken the toppers from there, no? Go to Loyola College, the top 10 ranks, make them IAS. Go to Presidency College, the top, top 10 ranks. Go to IITs, top 10 ranks, none. Why are they putting you through a process? A writing, analysis, and why essays? Think of essays. So whatever uh, personality tests they could not do, they say now take up essays. And essays are topics you could not have anticipated. The topics you could not have prepared for at all. So they are saying now write spontaneously. Let's see how you mind things. Because if I give a topic to you and you know they can ask you, you'll get prepared for it. No, simple thing. Essays are designed to surprise you. And now give me your write-up on this. And they are doing this in GS papers also. By asking surprise questions now. Uh, link, tectonics and isostasy. I mean, it's impossible to think about the question. Let's see what you do. It. You, might, you might give me a poor answer, but if it's logical, I'll take it. Let's see what you think about it. You need dust there. Okay. So, L3 question, I say, is your personality thing. Okay. So, when you're preparing for the examination, you have developed that development sensitivity. Uh, I mean, I, I wish I had more time. I would have taken up an article in current affairs and I would discuss with you how an article should be read. Okay. What to pick up from the article, not simply mining facts. Mining facts is what your YouTube channel guys are doing. What the content you are getting is doing. But thinking on the questions is this level of preparation. At least be aware of this. How to do it? I mean, uh, God willing, if I get a chance and the systems allow us, we can think about it. Okay, but be, be aware. Okay, that this is what they are doing. So, the typical approach we generally have is you prepare from base to what stop. My approach is you must do this, but also start developing like this. This is what we call as transitional approach. Okay, I give a content, you memorize, and you write down. This is an analytical approach, the why approach, the vision approach. I'm trying to establish the fact why you have to go beyond the foundation course. And this applies, as I said, for everything that you're doing. Your GS work, your optional work, whatever setting you are doing, the beginnings can be level one answers, level two answers. You ultimately must graduate towards this. Okay, that's the approach I would recommend. Okay, now I have found an uh, acronym for this. Okay, uh, it's entirely my indigenous creation. Okay, I call this as the UVA approach. Uh, UVA is in U is understand the topic. Uh, v uh, UVA V is the vision, the vision of India's development, the vision of what is uh, liberty, the vision of what's democracy, and A is the approach, the applied aspect. Okay, what can you do about it? And you as in, I mean, your personality. If this idea gets ingrained in you, that UPSC preparation is not syllabus completion, that's the easiest thing you can do. UPSC preparation is not current affairs coverage. It is not simply newspaper reading. It is something much more where you must elevate your personality itself. And I'm telling you, 100%, I've interviewed so many of them and many of them, uh, Touchwood, have been part of my classes. Those who qualify 
they are a very, very different personality. Very different from the regular students who otherwise have some other type of issues. So be aware of this thing. Yes, initially, your focus has to be course completion. Uh, do the notes diligently. Uh, memorize the facts wherever you can. Okay, yeah, you have to read the basic books. That is the base content. On that, you develop a personality. That's why I always say this. The preparation actually is very easy preparation. You know why? Because most people are not able to transit on this side. Most of you get trapped at the base level itself. If you know some small tricks, how to elevate yourself, the game is over. Others can't keep match. So the examination looks very tough in some ways. Okay. But if you know that nuance, the technique, how to elevate ourselves to the next level, it's a very easy examination. It's difficult not to get a rank if you are aware of that next level. Okay. So anyways, I have found an acronym that works for me. Okay. And I'm focusing on this aspect. So your advanced course gets into this one. Your enrichment content is about this vision approach where you're applying whatever you have read. Okay. Having said this, now this I think is whatever I told you till now, uh, that's part of appreciating examination in terms of what's required. Now this I think is a very important part of setting a process right. Okay. So I'll share something, you decide whether it works for you or not. Now this is, I think, I hope you all can read this. Can you? Now I'll read out if you have, uh, because I know it's uh, a bit too small for most of us. Okay. So you, uh, a timeline in terms of months, the years, 24, uh, 25, and this is what you should do. And I'm talking about geography for now, because that's my mandate. Okay. Um, some other session, maybe GS. So you are now here. Geography Foundation, six months, will take me six months. From August up to January end. Okay. Or maybe early February, six months. This is not enough. There is a part called a Geography Advanced Course. Okay. And if you are giving a prelims, the time between prelims and the mains, you know how many how many days is that? Anybody knows? How many days? Come on, you should be knowing your fingertips. So approximately, yeah, 90 odd days. If generous, maybe 100, but 90 approximately. Uh, uh, May end is examination. Uh, June, uh, July, August, and mid September is examination. Okay. Effectively, it's less than 90 days. Because... After giving a prelims, you all will go through at least 20 days of trauma. Uh, whether qualified, not qualified, according to Shankarai's answers, according to XYZ answers, I'm there, I'm not there, one month less, one. You are always bargaining there. You will, you will definitely waste 25 days there. And examination, 10 days before that, you all go, will, go, will go crazy. You will not know what to do. Like if you're really a good student and working hard, you'll, you'll go absolutely nuts. So I say your effective days are essentially month of July and August. Because June you will spend debating okay, whether you have qualified or not. If not qualified, you'll have another one month of mourning. And if unfortunately you qualified because you have lost one month now. So you effectively have month of July, month of August. So if I look at actual study days, it's just about 70 odd days. In 70 odd days, can you learn answer writing? In 70 days, can you learn answer writing? Can you learn essays writing? Can you finish the higher level content? You cannot do that, right? Acha. That's one question. Second question I'm asking all of you is, before prelims, how much time should devote only for prelims? Any ideas? Four months, three months, five months, somebody said. How much time do you need for prelims exclusive preparation? Three months, four months. So if the month of May is the examination, at least March onwards, though I will say start from Feb itself. Feb, March, April, or whatever May you have, right? 
So if you must start preparation from Feb onwards, and after prelims, you have uh, 70 days for mains readiness. By when should you finish your mains preparation? Got the logic all of you here? You cannot afford to leave the mains preparation for after prelims. After prelims is hard. Memorize. Revision, memorize. Gift test, memorize. That's all. So if you are giving your prelims in the month of May 24, by when should your course get over? Jan latest, correct all of you? And which course? Foundation or advanced course? Advanced course, not foundation. You have it's like on first of Feb, give your mains. Okay, I'm on my mains. You might you require that level of proficiency. If you delay this, even if you clear the prelims, what will do with it? That's the common question. If you clear the prelims and you are not mains ready, it's waste, right? And it's, I say, it's a criminal waste because prelims clearing itself is a huge task, no? You spend months together, some of years together, practicing and praying and qualifying. And when qualifying, what a sheer waste. So if you're giving up prelims, the approach has to be, I'll give the prelims when I'm mains ready. Not that I'll think about mains when prelims are over. You don't have time for it. If you start now, foundation is done, advance is done. Okay. And you've got Feb, March, April, what I call as prelims program. Well, whatever you're doing. Give means revision program. Okay. Means revision, whatever you couldn't know to do, do it now. appreciate this at all. Your timeline is very, very important. It's like, you know, I am in uh, what Annan uh, was. So your method depends on you knowing your timeline properly. Okay. So just have some jottings on this. Okay. I just put that month. And now it's August 23. You must finish off your May's readiness. Not later by January. Okay. Then get into your prelims study. What I call as a prelims program. Whatever it is. And then, of course, you can get into your interview preparation. That's the cycle that you need. If your main course is going on up till March, April, that year's attempt is over. You have no chance. And when I say main study, I mean both. Like I mean foundation and I mean advanced. And so writing tests proper, advanced concepts of L3 level. Is it okay, all of you? My intention, not what I'm doing here with your mind, my intention is not to scare you or confuse you. 
Mentation is tell you what the reality should be. Then you go back and plan what is to be done. How you'll manage, how many hours you'll study, what course will you join, follows after that. Okay? So if you are doing a GS also, same approach. You must finish GS by Jan. I think you guys are having five hours of class, most of you. It's required. You have got no other way out there. And do it that way. Fine. Can I move on from here now? So you wrote it down, okay? I may I'll give you the PPT if you want. You can take it from there also. That is my recommendation that we have. Now, uh, given the cohort that you are, I do not know what is your level of study. You probably are two types of students. One is uh, those who are preparing for 24 and those preparing for 25. And uh, please, there's a saying, where there is a will, there is a way. But I'm not a believer of that beyond a point. Now we say these quotations and unnecessarily burden ourselves. It's like I'm standing on the balcony of 10th floor where the building is away and I want to fly. Again, I'm flapping my hands and I believe if there's a will, there is a way. I flap and I jump out of the window. What will happen? Okay, you'll fly, you'll fly in the next birth itself. I hope that you are born a bird. So where the will, there is a way is a nice idea. But also be pragmatic there. Don't get into a pressure unnecessarily. So if you think you can do this, go for it. But not a blind idea. If you think I must wait and do this, then do it. It has to be your conscious choice. As institutes, we are not supporting. But what works best for you, think on that. Talk to your teachers. Talk to your mentors. And make a wise decision. Okay? Any, nevertheless, I said, there are two of you who are there. 24 attempts and 25 attempts. Now, my recommendation is this. If you are a 24 attempt student and you are starting, okay, you are optional. Now, or maybe it began a month ago. Then you have no time for that one course. What you should do is, do the foundation course in January. Parallelly, you are doing GS course. You are doing according to doing. From January, shut geography. You are prelims mode. And after prelims, you join the main support program, which will be a very fast program, okay, to finish and get ready for the main examination in geography. It will be tough, but you have got no other option. I will not recommend that you join foundation and advance together right now. Because the timings are different. And you end up having two classes here and you are doing two classes in the GS. That's a crazy planning. If you ask me, you should not be doing more than two classes a day. The remaining time, must go back and read, revise books, memorize, make your notes. Okay, so if you join geography with GS and you're planning for 24 examination, then please don't join advanced course in geography. GS, your student madam will help you what to do. Okay, for geography, do geography foundation. Okay, give your prelims examination, then this two, two and a half months, we'll do what's best possible. But then give the examination like you want clearly. In UPSC, I don't believe in trial attempts. It's absolutely nonsense. No trial required. You want trial? Take the paper and sort of, sort of on your own, no? Because no matter how bad the preparation, if you give the examination, there will be an expectation there. And no matter what, if you don't clear, you feel very bad about it. And as the attempts increase, you always will have a guilt. Oh my God, I wasted that time. So don't give any trial attempts, please. Give the prelims like you want to qualify. Like I'm jumping out of a building. Clear the gap and land on the other side. It can't be a trial jump. What's the point here? Because the examination is not that level. I'm in a structure. Artist. I'm swinging between ropes. I can't have a trial jump there. 
Trial jump do at another level. Okay. But in the performance, you must jump to clear it. Then your effort makes sense. So your planning should now not be I will definitely clear prelims according to the study. And then I will do the entire foundation of the optional, whatever option you have. And then, because of your plan, whatever is time remaining between prelims and mains, you'll go intense on this and you'll get ready for the mains. It is not the perfect method, but this is the best method. As students, if you come knows I want advanced course also, I'll sell it to you. But my recommendation to the teacher is don't do that. You only mess up the preparation, you'll impact the attempts in the next year. That's the 24 recommendation. For those who are preparing for 25, what I'll say, do geography foundation right now with us. Do your GS along with madam, you are doing. Then the advanced course and everything to join from next year's August, September month. Because what happen is, in three, four months, you'll consolidate your proper geography. You would have read all the books. The GS in command you have. When I start the advance in the August month, or September next year, when you be with me, I'll take you through a process. And for you guys, for 25, 25 should be a definite like, year to qualify. When you give the prelim, work with that Those in 24 attempt, okay, uh, try your best. Try your best. If you want to qualify, be pragmatic, okay, be wise there and accordingly study. Is it okay, all of you? Any questions here? So, yes, uh, so I'm repeating. Geography, we have two stages here. And I explained why you need two stages. And the timing is important. When you must start off with what stage? A any questions you want to clarify? Offline, online? Any questions you want me to ask? You want me to clarify? Answer? Fine. So I think if you have, you can let me know eventually. Okay. So I've explained this to you. So... Winding up the conversation, I, my suggestion is don't look for the easy way out. Easy way out is fooling yourself. Easy way out is uh, conning yourself. There's a process to it. There's a scientific method to it. And people who qualify, they're capable of the doing that. And, and you know, one of my uh, students told that to me. And I appreciate that I'm sharing with all of you. In a class, there are two types of students. One who we call as rankers. They'll work hard, different way, and they will clear it. The other group of students who we call as bankers, they are for making, helping me make money. You decide where you want to be. Every ecosystem runs like that. As teachers, my job is to convert you into a ranker. But to do that, use your mind, your understanding. Don't be a blind, blind student. The one thing I repeat in the class every time. If you want thinking students, aspirants who can think, understand the process. So all of this is to help you understand the process. Take a leap and done. So no easy way out. Be rational. You think, you choose, and hang on. There is no shortcut. There is a process. You can't bypass that. There is a method to it. Do it properly. You will qualify first, maximum, second, and maybe. And uh, my, my recommendation to all of you will be, when you enter the UPSC preparation, be willing. Give two, three years of your life. It takes time. Because, partly because our school systems are not really up there in terms of UPSC demands. And that's the reason. Right? Our IT entrance is at another level. But schools are not there. That's why we need a gap preparing called as your coaching institutes. The reality is the level is high. 
type of uh, mathematics you are taught or uh, reasoning you are taught cat examination another level no is the reality don't crib about it upsc in some ways is the mother of all examinations the requirement is really very high and i have seen people qualify people coming from very regular backgrounds in fact the toppers sometimes qualify because it requires a persistence it requires commitment there be willing to give years of life and never away trust me i have no sell begging on the streets today upsc career is giving a lot of money also in terms of salary crazy money okay the starting salary is in institutes can be as high as 1 lakh 2 lakhs 3 lakhs also if i give one interview okay in in uh, delhi it's a crazy salary you get and i'm happy why because it attracts good talent then so don't be scared about okay um, if i don't qualify what okay life will give you a chance but do it properly one number two be cognizant of fact that this is a very long process in a long process you have to get three things right your approach has to be right you have to have realistic timelines for yourself and third the support system must be right is like you know if there is a small half degree difference here by the time i am launching my rocket i'll end up in mars okay small distance a small error i can rectify but long distance may a small error here can take you somewhere else a upsc is that long distance marathon as we i i i use this uh, adage that when you are running very very fast and very very um, you know sincerely make sure you are running in the right direction because if a direction is wrong you will end up at wrong place faster so get your process right get your timeline right and make sure you have people and support systems one small mistake here okay you will end up messing up your entire uh, your preparation not that your life will get become bad but the preparation will be destroyed and upsc it difficult to come back and start again because it's a tedious thing so always nice to start in the right way from day one itself course cut whenever possible that's one recommendation to all of you and third spend time at studying the previous questions Okay, uh, studying uh, uh, from the right sources. I am a big fan of studying from the books. Okay, because notes alone will never suffice. Keep this in mind, and you are on. Now, our last conversation before I wind up. It's almost time. Okay. Uh, there are issues about uh, how to teach. When I was invited, I have been very excited. Like I said, it's a new geography. uh i am exploring whether i can teach beyond delhi or not the so venkankar i is reached out and madam reached out more than happy there but the problem is i cannot be physically present here to teach you it's not possible so what we are thinking is a type of a hybrid model where you must study live i am not a great fan of recordings every time recording is if it is an workout otherwise be part of life classes so i think we are thinking on the screen teaching and live interactions you can ask your doubts to me i'll clarify about the line itself and i'll come down with me and my team we are three teachers i take almost 70% of the classes and then we have got two other teachers the dimple madam is there the poof sir is there and something else also supported by the mentors we'll come down here a couple of days in a month and put your process okay properly Uh, if you're willing to study uh, with me, uh, with our team, with the collaboration, we are more than happy to be there. It is uh, an exciting thing for us, but this was a limitation. It's impossible for me to come here and teach every day. I would love to do that, but I think technology has ensured that we can do otherwise also. That's one. And the second problem is the timing thing. I'm told you have got uh, classes, so geography classes. at 12 o'clock to till 2 to 2:30 and i keep the second half 
for the enrichment sessions. It's not that the same slot will have the enrichment classes or advanced classes. So uh, we run uh, two sessions. The two sessions uh, uh, will run concurrently if you join them together. Otherwise, you can do foundation right now and join the advanced later on. And those who have done the foundation already, then so you should join okay, the advanced course immediately. We're starting off, I think, September end, October start the advanced course. But for that, I need your foundation must be strong. Okay, so that's uh, two realities we must confront with. Having said, uh, talk to the institute. You can reach out to us also. Whatever queries you have, you can ask us. We'll try to clarify that. And uh, my wishes to all of you, irrespective of where you study, what you study, study well, give it a best shot. We are in very exciting times where for India, suddenly a lot of prospects have opened up. Okay, we definitely want to become the best country. We should be there in some way or the other. And you can be part of that nation building. Okay, so exciting time. We invest time into it. And I'm sure life will come out eventually much better. That's from my side. Unless you have some questions to ask me. Okay, online students, I have interacted with you as much right now. If you have some questions, ask me, I will answer. Okay, so thanks from my side. I'll wait for your queries if you have any. Yeah. I hope I did not, uh, I was not a drag on you guys. Okay. Um, we sat through, uh, we started around what, uh, 3 40, 45 maybe, and it's now 5 10 by my watch. So, one and a half hours approximately. There's no question there, sir. When, when does the uh, when does the foundation go start? Okay. So, what we do in my institute is we run a relay race. Okay, so we take admissions every second month. So right now, uh, it's like, you know, topic A, B, C, D, E topic. We can start from A and finish till Z. We can start from B, the A will come end May. We can start from F, the F, uh, A, B, C, D will be done later on. So uh, in our institute, we're starting from Monday, no, from Tuesday rather. Uh, we're starting off with climatology. So if you guys are okay, you can sit and join and see how it works out for you guys. So foundation course starts from uh, and six months. Uh, wherever you start, uh, you, you will be given six months to finish off. Okay. So we're starting from uh, today is Sunday. Uh, we'll have one session tomorrow, orientation. And then we'll have the proper class from Tuesday, uh, 12 or 2 o'clock. Anybody else? The next entry point will be, I think, but after next, you have no chance for 24 attempt. It's already very tight. Okay, the next admission will be probably in the month of October or November, maybe, when I start off with your population geography. The three entry points that we have in geography. Anything else? Any questions? You're all very quiet, don't interact. I could see some of you smiling, but in general, you are very serious, serious. I'm not a serious man. I, I always say we don't want serious students, we want sincere students. Laugh, have fun, enjoy the process. Okay, and uh, be sincere in terms of the commitments. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Any questions? So, suppose 2024 under coming clinics design both courses, GS Foundation and uh, advanced courses. Suppose 2024 clinics is not there, then again we want to join an uh, enrichment program. We don't need to do this twice. Now, one is enough. Why enough? Uh, but generally, I say you must revise the enrichment every second year. If you have got one year of gap or two years of gap, maybe 25 if you are joining, then you should join me again. Otherwise, do it once. You don't need to do it twice. Uh, when is your when is your attempt? 24. Then don't join advanced course right now. You can't handle it. It would do much for you. Then you join the foundation. Do the you're doing GS course here, isn't it? Do the GS properly. Because it four classes in a day is mad. It is not a right target at all. See, if you join, it's good for me. You know, I make money there. But that's not wise. So you join foundation course. And after prelims, the two and a half months we have, we'll do whatever it takes. Like It will not be a perfect preparation, but good enough to qualify. It will be touch and go. Okay. But don't join advanced now with GS going on parallelly. You can't handle it. It will be too much for you. We want you to be alive. No, we don't want you... Okay, dead in the month of January. 
ओके माय रिकमेंडेशन इज डोंट डू दैट ठीक है एनीबडी एल्स यस Uh, if I already done the the option foundation and after that I'm doing the CS, uh, courses, then you can join. Yes. Uh, in one day, two classes, okay. So enrichment will start from सेप्टर एंड ऑक्टोबर एब्सुटली बट मेक श्योर योर फाउंडेशन is done. Okay. Command is there on that because I will not teach foundation anymore. I'll take you next level entirely. ठीक है Then you then you must join. If you're planning for ट्वेंटी फोर you can join. Anybody else? Ladies don't ask here. Okay, ladies are all over. Right? Isro is all red ladies. Boys, you have got tough race. Okay, rank also of first four, five, six ranks. The girls are digging it. Okay, so oh, we can see a clear difference. Is one lady who is decided here. Otherwise, okay, is, is it deliberate or it is uh, uh, fortuitous? Girls on one side, boys on another side. No, okay, not deliberate. It happens. It's called instinct. Okay. I know it's a bit stronger South India. I know that because I remember when I was in Chennai, I was in a bus, and the bus was empty types. Okay, and I was tired. I went and sat on the lady seat, and I was stared at so badly by so many people. I got down next stop itself. I said probably I will get lynched by the time I reach. Then I realized, oh, the lines are very very strong here. Okay, so I'm alive. <laughs> Any questions, ladies? Nothing. Either I was too good, or you guys are too smart to understand everything. You have got no doubts. Online, any questions? There's one one question there. What was that? Schedule of the course. So what do you want exactly? Schedule. You want the day wise? So we have that. You can check up our uh, website, and I maybe I'll share with the Shankar IS Academy also. I'll give the schedule to you. No, no worries. Okay, um, I can't mention right now, but we have a schedule. Uh, Free structure, bad question to ask me. Okay, so free structure is next department. I am the teacher. I'll come and teach you. Okay, so that's the next question. We'll handle it afterwards. Anybody else? Yes, tell me. Yes, yes. Live courses are also recording. Yes, but my suggestion is, if recordings you are doing, then do it same day. Okay, I don't keep it afterwards, and if possible, be in the live sessions wherever possible. It's a different experience altogether. With the doubts can be clarified, but you'll get recordings also. Yes. Sorry, available within a week. Sorry, maximum. So, so uh, if you are online students, uh, we'll give you for the entire duration of the course. But if the students are offline with us, we give them recordings only for three days. Because my belief is, uh, recordings. Um, uh, if you uh, keep it eternally. It's like you know you will keep on uh, ignoring and doing it afterwards. It never happens then. So, offline students, if you are there, okay, like in Delhi, then you get only three days recording online, which you will be most of you live will give you for the entire course. Anything else? All good, nice. So we are done, my dear Ajay sir. Uh, anything else? Uh, you can let me know. Okay. So my pleasure being here. Have a lovely preparation. My wishes to you, and uh, God bless all of you. Thanks. Bye. Thank you so much.